great to have you with us. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. DA, it's all yours. Well, thanks very much, guys. Of course, the NBA has had some legendary trash talkers. But Damian Lillard says it's not really a verbal assault like it used to be. In this era, it's more gestures. From the watch your head to the too small or rock the baby to Trey Young's theatrical bows, players... And the message usually received, D.A., <laughs> thank you. Brett, there's no doubt your athleticism was one of the key weapons you possessed. We're going to see plenty of that here tonight on display. Well, that's kind of you first, Kevin, but secondarily, the guys out here have a chance when there's any open space to make something extremely exciting happen. So let's move up a little bit and sit on the edge of our seat, should we? Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. They've got Zach Levine, DeRozan out there with Vucevic, then there's Lonzo Ball, and it's Caruso in at the two-guard position. And for the Bucks, Holiday and Allen have guard duties. Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. And it's Middleton in at the three, the small forward. He kicks it to Holiday. Passes to Lopez. Just five to shoot. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Feeds back. Middleton can't get it to go. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. The, the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. The Rosens shot is off. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Yeah. And Ante Tacumbo gets it to go. Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. They get the rebound. And Zoyanis will bring it up for Milwaukee. Middleton outside. Pass to Giannis. Trying to get open is Lopez. And Giannis hits it to go on the assist by Middleton. Well, when he was a skinny kid, defenders would always try to get physical with Giannis. That changed pretty quick. Doesn't work so well anymore. Now here's Levine. Caruso, the pass to Vucevic. Pass to DeRozan. Here's Caruso. Levine inside the three-point line. With one on the clock, and slam dunk by Vucevic. Vucevic. And how about the hustle from Vucevic there on the glass, securing that precious second chance opportunity for the team. It's stolen by DeRozan, and here we go with DeRozan running it up the middle. And that one released in time, but no good. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Bucks ahead, they lead by two, and will return shortly. so far we'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter and let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks guys boy that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync terrific first quarter they couldn't ask for a better one right now just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes wonderful start so with holiday sitting on the bench this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. Jay Crowder out there with Portis. Then there's Pat Connaughton. And it's Joe Ingles. And it's Carter in at the point. Yeah, and with improving court awareness, Levine continues to tap into his limitless potential when making plays. Now, here's Ingles. Outside Portis. Shot clock at six. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And Portis knows this system well. Try to make the good to great pass. Milwaukee first, shooting first their first, first free throw of the game. First team foul. At the line for Milwaukee, Joe Ingo. Shooting one.
And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin, they just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint from mid-range or hurt you from deep. Now, here's Dosumu. Outside, Levine. Over Ingle. Here's Drummond. No good. Shot missing. Great D that time from Portis. Here's Ingles. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Ingles has got the lead up to four now for the Bucks. Well, he seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. We see that pay off. No yeah, way foul. to play in attack the mode ball. and get to the line. First personal foul. Bulls shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Patrick Beverly taking two shots. And he can't get the first one. One of the better perimeter defenders in the game and in the golden age of scoring point guards, Patrick Beverly doing his best to slow them down on a nightly basis. A new lineup here for the Bucks. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Vucevic checked in for Andre Drummond. DeRozan comes in for Williams. Alex Caruso is checked in for Levine. And it's Lonzo Ball in for Dostumo. Now here is Holiday. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Drew's got such a great build. 205, 210 pounds, a bigger guard. Hard to knock him off of his shot. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. And it's finishes like that which have helped him build this lead here in the first half. Caruso against Middleton. We've got 22 seconds left here in the second. Bucks leading by six. Rockets left side. There's the pass to Ada Kumbo. Stolen by Ball. With one on the clock. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Billy. I heard you tell the guys to take it to them and play with more physicality offensively. What did you mean? Well, just I think when we're getting the ball inside around the basket, at times we got to go up a little bit stronger and play through the contact and go to the rim. Tough sledding in there, but we got to get there. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to a competitive matchup for Milwaukee in the first quarter. And trying as they might, they couldn't push their lead past four points. Well, for the Bucks, Kenny, what's your viewpoint? Most of the damage they're doing is in the paint. They've made a concerted effort to work the ball inside, create high percentage looks. And that could open up the perimeter for them in the second half, with the D worried about the post game. And Shaq, what'd you think about Chicago? And their defense has been an absolute disaster, offering little to no resistance, allowing the other team to walk all over them. They need to show way more fight in the second half or they're going to get trampled. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Go over there. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. One of the stories here, Joe Ingles getting it done today. Yeah, and, and the numbers don't jump out at you, but the impact on the game sure does. Well, the commitment he has to fill his role and consistently fill that role, that's what that team needs from him. 
And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Hey, Brent, you look at the Bucks' recent success. Great coaching has got to be a big part of it. Yeah, and if you ask Coach Bud, a great Giannis Antetokounmpo is something that's a big part of it, too. So expected to win. This team is hungry to get back and compete at the highest level. The coach gets overlooked at times, but Coach Bowden has done a great job with this Milwaukee Bucks team. So the Bulls five right now. DeRozan out there with Zach Levine. Then it's Ball, and it's Vucevic, and it's Caruso in at the two. Now here's Middleton. They lead by six, their biggest margin. Nobody near Allen. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Allen's got the first bucket of the third here for the Bucks. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Caruso, bounce pass. Down low. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You know, Greg, some guys are late bloomers, but DeRozan, he was just the opposite. Yeah, reports are he had handles at age three. First dunk team in the sixth grade. Five-star high school prospect, and in a strange way, he's still an underrated superstar. That's good from DeMar DeRozan. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. <laughs> Trading for Vooch in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar as a free agent. That's a refreshing approach. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez, and it's Matthews in for Allen. DeMar DeRozan hits them both. Well, you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Outside Holiday. Back to Middleton. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Five on the clock. It's stolen by Vucevic. Ball against Howard. Ball kicks to Vucevic. Bean passes to DeRozan. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. And some changes here for the Bucks. Crowder, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Trogic in for Drew Holiday. Then for the Bulls, Williams comes in for Levine. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Lonzo Ball. Now here's Trogic. Portis, the pass to Crowder. Over to Rosen, and the Bucks miss again. In transition, here come the Bulls. Williams leading the charge. Passes it to Vucevic. Back to Williams. DeRozan for three. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Holiday and Allen have guard duties. Brooke Lopez is out there with Portis, and it's Ingles in at the three slot. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Nice shot by Portis. Getting inside and letting Portis do his work. He attacked the bucket that time. Bulls trail by nine. Levine up top. Ingles covering. Levine can't hit. Defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Here's Portis. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Portis has got the lead up to 11 now for Milwaukee. 
and Levine. Here we go. Two points. That one goes. Levine. And they depend on Levine to score at an efficient clip. Knows how to get it done inside. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. There is no let up in this man. He is doing everything in his power to keep this game close. Now here's Allen. Here's Ingles. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Zach Levine. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bucks? You love how they've lived in the paint, making the defense just consistently have to collapse and still finding ways to convert. And you want to talk about ball distribution? They've been dominating that aspect of the game. I think there's a bunch of bankers out there. They're dropping dime after dime. He hits the first one, and that'll push the lead to double digits. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Milwaukee. Chris Middleton comes in for Allen. And Ingles drops them both. 109 left in the fourth quarter. Levine against Middleton. Vucevic trying to get open. Levine gets the bucket. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Ingles dishes to Lopez. Rebounded by Vucevic. And the Bulls with possession. They trail by nine points. Here's Caruso. And the rejection by Antetokounmpo. When you get down on the block, Giannis is going to use that length defensively to get his hands all over any shot attempt. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You, you could really feel the energy. A huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. Now, Antetokounmpo. So, no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor completely under control for the vast majority of the game and whenever there was a misstep they just didn't allow it to fester and that's 